right, so I have my new tarp set up from Guide Gear. I think I hit that wrong every time I said it yesterday. And I'm going to do a sprinkle test on it. Well, I said sprinkler. Sadly, my sprinkler is um, gone. I can't find it. I haven't watered the grass this year yet, obviously, but I have a hose and I have an attachment here. So we're going to at least try and water it down and see how it does against water. Uh, Looking at these little corner stitches here, those will definitely have to be redone. Um, I don't know that they hold up much, against much wind. Uh, I've got a little wind here. It seems to be doing okay right now, but I just don't think it would hold up against much wind. I can try out my new hose for the first time as well, because I froze it over the winter. This is just one of the most expandable hoses, so we'll see how it does. Um, I have the wrong end. Okay, so I'll get it ready and we'll water it down and see how it does from the inside. Back in a minute. Alright, not rain, it's just a sprinkler of a system. It's not that heavy. Keep it on the top rim! That's what I'm most concerned about. So far, we're staying dry. I don't see any leaks yet. We can let this run for a while and see what comes up. No, nothing leaking yet. Up on top! There, like that. Good. Thanks. I got my son helping me out. He's the one soaking us. And we're uh, staying dry on the inside at least. You can see. We're definitely uh, putting some water on it. Not an awful lot, but enough to get it wet if it was going to. Now, of course, this is the first test. Sometimes getting something wet and letting it dry and getting it wet a second time makes a difference. So we'll leave it up today. See how it does after it dries out and gets wet again. But from what I can tell, it is not leaking anywhere. You know, sometimes if you touch a tent, it starts to leak where you touch that. So that's why I'm trying that. See if it's leaking or I'll touch it. Alright, got my first sign of water here. Down here is my first sign of some water. Just breaking through. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. Let me bring you up close. Right here, we're getting a little bit of water. Right in here. I'm not sure you guys can see it in the camera, but I can see it with my bare eyes. Right here, I got bubbles. Good for me. See them? We've only been underneath here for about two minutes at that. And I've got a leak right there. So it's just starting to leak right along the seam here. That's the only leak I see so far is on the stitch. Oh, here's another one right here. Starting to come in right here. So that's leaking right there. Right above where you'd be uh, laying if you were in a hammock. That's where the water is mostly coming because our hose is a little short. Keep it coming right there. Yeah, right where you got it going. Because that's where I think it's leaking at. Uh, we're leaking right here. So this seam is definitely not waterproof. Oops, tripping over myself here. Yeah, definitely not waterproof. Guys, I'm sorry. Gals, this is a, oh, there was a drip. I don't know if you caught that on camera or not, but it is coming in fast and furious on the seam there. Uh, let me give you an idea of what we got going outside as far as 
how much water we're putting on this. Keep the water going. Here's how much water we're putting on it. And you can tell it's leaking with just a little bit of rain that we're putting on it, a little bit of hose. So that's all we're putting on it, not much more than that, and we're getting leakage all on the seam. So it's definitely going to require some sealing across the seam if anybody bought this or if anybody's planning on buying it. But uh, they stitched it after they treated the material and all on the seam here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a drip right there. I'm going to get as close as I can to see what's going on. That's a drip coming in. Uh, there's three drips coming in right there. Uh, there's drips that's running down the side of it now. All coming from the seam though. All coming from the seam. It's running down and dripping wherever it finds a bubble. So you would get drenched. Yes, you would get definitely drenched in this thing. That seam is going to have to be taped and sealed. So, um, uh, taped, I don't know, maybe not taped. Yeah, probably would be best if you taped and sealed it, but anybody who's planning on buying this is a hammock type, you've got some work to put out here. Nonetheless, I still think it's a nice tarp. I don't have a problem taping and sealing it. The uh, material itself is not leaking. It's just the seams. Now let's go around and take a look real quick while it's daylight out, how this looks from the outside. I'm going to set the camera down here real quick while I point some things out. Okay, so as I mentioned, from that point to that point, 14 feet, and from that point to the ridge line, 5 foot 6 inches. And as uh, you can see, I'll see myself in comparison. I have it off the ground pretty good, but you know, it's a pretty good size tarp. Definitely good size, but you're going to have to feel that seam across the top no matter what. Hey, you're steering the water at me now. Alright, that's all I want to show you. Thanks, guys.